Welcome everybody to this training video. In this video, I'll show you how to have each of these bullets a different color. So currently they're all black and I can show you very easily, and I've shown you in other videos, how to make them all the same color. So they could all be red, blue, green, pink, whatever you wanted. But how do you have them as different colors? Let me show you. Now, a big disclaimer. If you wanted to do this with numbers, so you know, one, two, three, four. So if I, was to, so if I give you an example, so like this, I can't do it. I do not know how to make each one of these a different color. And I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. But I do know how to do it with. Towards the end of the video, I actually do give a solution on how to make each number a different color. Now, disclaimer, it's not a very nice solution. It's quite messy. It's a bit time consuming. But if you really absolutely must have each number a different color, there is a workaround slash solution for it. Anyway, watch all of the video. You'll see how to do the bullet points and then I'll show you a workaround for the numbers as well. The bullet points. So anyway, let's carry on. Now, they were black earlier. They're red now. Let me show you how to change the, the color of all of them. So click on one of them. It selects all of them. And that's just a single click. It selects all of them. Then to change the color, you pick the color of the font. So we'll go for the black. There you go. That's the more in black. And if you wanted them all in a different color, again, click on it. And if you wanted them all in a completely different color, single click and then pick the appropriate color from this option up here. So you could have them all green. There we go. So that's how you do it for all of them. I'm just going to change them back to black. And I'm going to show you now the method to change them so they're individually a different color. And just to let you know, it is a little bit complex. Uh, follow my instructions, you'll get it perfect, but it's not obvious. It took me a little bit of effort to work out how to do this. Also, whilst you're at it, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, it all helps. Right, on with it. So we've got them all in black. Let's make them a different color now though. Let's make them a color I've never used before. So let's go with this, uh, this purple, plum as it's called. There we go, we've got them all in plum. Now what you need to do, you see this little drop down here next to the bullet points, this little drop down here, you click on that and then click on define new bullet. And you'll see in this little box that comes up, you'll see the three bullets that are there and they're all in this purple or plum color. Press OK. If I now go to the bullets, so I click on the little drop down here next to the bullets, I can see I've now got a purple one and a black one. So I've already got two colors that I can use. But as I say, it's a little bit complex. Let's add in one more color though, so we have a bit of variation. So I'll do the same again. I'll click on these. So we've got all the purple ones and I'll change them into another color. So let's pick green. Same again, click on a little drop down. Define new bullet. Got the green ones there, click OK. Along the top, we've now got green, purple, or plum, and black. So let's make one black, one green, and one purple. As I say, this bit's a little bit messy. So the first one is green. We want the second one here to be black. So what you need to do, you need to highlight it. You need to click on the drop down. And you need to pick none. Okay, so we've got a bullet and then we've got no bullet. Highlight this one again, click on the drop down, and then click black. You've got a green one and a black one. And let's make this one purple. Same again. Highlight it, click on the drop down, none. Highlight it, click on the drop down, purple. Green, black, purple. And I know what you're thinking. Why don't I just highlight it, click on the drop down, and then just pick black? Well, it's because it doesn't work. As I say, it's a little bit messy, this, but you now know how to do it. So highlight it, click on the drop down, none. Highlight it, click on the drop down, black. There we go. Should we try and create one more color? So I'm going to add one more color to the list. So let's make a new list of bullet points. Uh, I'll just put test. I'll 
I'll click on it. And what it's done though, it's highlighted these two black ones, which is not really what I wanted. But I'll do it anyway just to see if I can do it. So you can see it's worked. It's made this one here uh, red as well. But you can see in this list we've now got red, black, plum and green. So again, I'd make that one black again by highlighting it. None. Highlight it. Make it black. And this last one, highlight it. None. Highlight it. Make it red. Delete that last one. So there you go. You can see we've got a variety of colors on the go. As I say, I cannot get this working for numbers. I don't know a workaround. Maybe someone else out there does, uh, but I don't know how to get around it. I suppose one way you could do it is by creating individual text boxes and then putting the text that you want next to it. Um, it's quite a manual process. It's not very nice, but actually, whilst I've got your attention, let me just prove it to you that it's not going to work. So if I was to create a number list, so um, this is a test. So we're going to go for the same principle. So let's have a look. We've got numbers. So we've got red and we've got black. Okay, so there's black ones and there's red ones. So if I was to highlight that and do it as none, highlight that do it as black, we've got this problem here, it goes one, one, two, three. And you probably think I can maybe do something like continue the numbers. So I'll highlight it, right click, continue numbering, doesn't do anything. I could do set number value, so that'd be sensible. So this one here should be two, so let's move up to two. One, two, two, three, you can see it's just, I can't work out a way of doing it. Um, the solution I'm saying that you might want to do, um, so if we did the same thing, this is a test. You could then insert a text box and do draw a text box. Draw it there. You could type number one and then I'll make number one you know, big, um, yeah, I'm doing this quickly, there you go, so you could do that and then line it up, if I double click on it, I can go to shape format and I could get rid of the outline, so no outline, so I could do that and then copy and paste it line it up again and call that number two copy and paste it line it up again call it number three and then i could color these in so let's go for number two and make number two if i go to text fill pick a color orange oh, i should do all of it shouldn't i there you go and do number three, the green. Yeah, so that works, but remember these lists are not going to update. So if you add something to the list, you know it's not it's not gonna add in extra numbers or anything like that. This is just me putting the number four as a piece of text rather than a numbered list, but it is a solution. It's a time consuming solution, but you can see it does work. Just make sure you line them up nicely. Um, so that is a solution for you as well. It's probably not a solution you wanted, but I cannot, as you saw, I cannot find a solution. But anyway, bullet points, I do have a solution for you. And with numbers, I have a solution, not the solution you want, but I do have a solution for you. Hopefully you found this video useful. Please like the video, it helps the algorithm a lot. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.